Hi friend how are you Today our discussing topic is about transmission line parameters is the most important parameters that are being used today without the transmission line the modern age you cannot think about the modern age because the transmission line is taking power from the generating station and its feed power to the load center via substation so the transmission line is connected it's also called the interconnected systems and everywhere you go you can see the transmission line it may be the hilly area or it may be the plain area also so without the transmission line we cannot think about power so power is just transmitted from one place to the another by help of that transmission line so the transmission line parameters it's also the very important topics so it's depend on the dimensional parameters dimensional parameters are length thickness spacing thickness of insulator length means the conductor length thickness the conductor thickness spacing spacing is the conductor spacing and the thickness of the insulator it is the thickness of insulators that's we are using the dix type insulator pin type insulator cycle type insulator as per our requirement is concerned so the dimensional parameters are there let's start about the material parameters material quality material parameters so it is very it is also very important is the conductivity permittivities and permeabilities the three material parameters are there electrical parameters are there electrical parameters are resistance r is denoted by resistance l is denoted by inductance and c is denoted by shunt capacitance also g is the shunt conductance so what is r r is the series resistance in ohm per unit length that is ohm per meter L is the series inductance in Henry per unit length. H oblique m meter Henry per meter. C is the shunt capacitance in farad per unit length farad per meter. G is the shunt conductance in Siemens per unit length S per m. So if we discussed about the electrical parameters, these four parameters are present here and. r l and c are the most important parameters of the electrical systems if we think um, considered it uh, as a conductors it may be the panther conductor it may be the moose conductor it may be the dog conductor it is maybe the zebra conductors and as per the current uh, carrying capacity the different type of conductors we are bring used today in the 220 kb line we are using the zebra conductors in the 132 kb line we are using the panther conductors and uh, also in the switchers uh, we are using the moose conductors panther conductors etc in the distributions line we are using the dog conductors um, uh, bison uh, dog conductors panther conductors also for the industrial consumers etc so if we think or consider that this is a conductor so it's a unit length so we are getting here r resistance ohm per meter inductance henry per meter and capacitance farad per meter all these three parameters are uniformly distributed throughout this unit length of the conductor piece so as per the example is concerned this is the r resistance as per the symbol the pictorial symbol of the resistance this is the pictorial representation of the inductance and this is the pictorial representation of the capacitance so rlc this is also called the rlc circuit 
we are trying to uh, provide you a unit length this is the resistance this is the resistance inductance and capacitance this is the unit length so as we have discussed about the unit length as i am considering this is the unit length and also this unit length are cascading or also added with each other suppose this is the 1 kilometer resistance 1 kilometer inductance and 1 kilometer capacitance we are calculating so it is considered as a unit length so if the transmission line is 40 kilometers or if the transmission line is 100 kilometers depending on the kilometer the resistance we are getting the total resistance total inductance total capacitance it's also depend on the line length line length also the resistance formula we know that we all know that r equal to rho l by a so resistance r equal to rho l by a rho is the resistivity l is the length of the line and a is the area of cross section area of cross section so if we discuss about the inductance l equal to sigma by i henry sigma is the flux in a leakage in weber uh, turn i is the current in ampere and capacitance c equal to q by v q what is q q uh, is the charge on the uh, line in coulomb and uh, v small v is the potential difference pd in between the conductor in volt so friend this is the most important topic if you are interested to show my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video and also remind your old memories thank you thank you for watching my video thank you very much